Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and today is part two of the Black Iron Pot second annual cook-off with Dreams Come True Foundation. On this show, we're going to get to see all the people tasting the food. We're going to get to see the winners. We may even get to see how much money we raised today, but this is really neat. Uh, all the cooks are pretty close now. We're checking back on them. Uh, it's going to be really neat. And Cajun Living and Cooking is fixing to start right about now. Now. To start now. Start right now. Right about now. Right about now. About to start right now. Starting right about now. Cajun living and cooking about to start right now. Cajun living and cooking starts about right now. All right, y'all, I got some more volunteers out here, and they're with the school Ascension School Food Association. I'm gonna get their names. Debbie Jeffers, Ann Hooper. I really thank y'all for coming out here and helping today. We love participating with the community and helping out. It, it just gives a passion back to what we believe in through our children. Now it's, we got a great day. It's for a good cause. We got good food. We got lucky on this weather, y'all. Every, every Saturday it's been threatening rain for LSU and look like we can have our good day out here. Get some money for the kids. Go home and watch a football game. I think that's what we need to do. Are y'all getting a lot of business yet? We are getting a lot of business. Uh, the LSU quilt raffle that your grandmother made is just going awesome. And people are buying t-shirts. And they're going to be coming soon to get all these little bowls so we can go ahead and eat up all this delicious food out there because it smells wonderful here. Yeah, it does, y'all. All the smells coming up. I want to thank y'all again for coming out. You're welcome. Thank y'all. We love being a part of anything Ascension does. Awesome. All right, y'all, I got the hardest working man out here, Mr. Joel Tools, and I want to thank you for coming out and, well, you're and, it. and, and, and helping out with the parking. And we only got limited space out here for people to park, and everybody can come to the hardware store and shop and still come have a good time, but we just got to keep the parking flowing out here. Uh, how's it been going? So far, so good. Getting a little more busier now, getting closer to the hour. Yeah. Yeah, so, but so far so good. Uh, you ain't had to run anybody off. You ain't had to uh, threaten anybody yet. No, no threats yet. We've been very cooperative <laughs> so far. <laughs> gotcha. He got his work cut out for him, y'all, out here trying to straighten this parking out. But uh, keep up the good work. I appreciate. It. Thanks for the help. You got it. Thank you very much. All right, y'all. I got something really neat going on here. Let me get their names. Jake Loper. Catherine Loper. Now they're out here selling lemonade for the Dreams Come True Foundation. Now. Uh, they just started this. Uh, you just built your stand, right? Yes, sir. And y'all sold one other time, but y'all just getting going with this, and y'all gonna start raising money. Yes, sir. Now, uh, I'm sure Dad helped build everything here. Yeah, we have. Catherine helped a lot. Catherine painted it. Catherine helped sand it. You know, Catherine came up with a lot of ideas, but uh, I was more, you know, the help. Gotcha. And she's the boss. Oh, okay, the boss and the helper. Yes, indeed. Well, hopefully we can sell a bunch of lemonade. It's starting to get hot out here, and maybe we can sell a few. Um, Y'all play, you play softball, too. Yes, sir. Who you play for? I play for All Stars. I play for Butch Gore Park. Um, I'm on a machine pitch team. Our team is green. It's fall ball right now. So All we right. have a name. Okay. Okay. Y'all just getting started. Yes, All right. Well, I'm going to tell y'all, thank y'all for coming out here and hopefully y'all sell a whole bunch of lemonade. Thank you very much for the invite. Thank y'all. I'm going to get y'all. All right, y'all. I got Mr. Alvin Ray out here. How's hey, it how going? You doing, and you got some help too. Tammy. Absolutely. Tammy. Tammy. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Alvin has been working on these pickles, y'all, for how long? Uh, two years. Two years. And the name of them is? Alvin Ray's Bayou Best Pickles. Bayou Best Pickles, y'all. And I got to taste some of these pickles. And you got three different flavors, right? Mild, spicy, and hot. Okay. 
I tasted some of these, and this is phenomenal. This is something that you're gonna wanna be a part of, these pickles. Uh, tell me a little bit about the flavors or a little bit about what's coming up big for this. Uh, we fixing the, this is fixing to be in the store near you. Absolutely. This is, this is coming. It's coming soon. You, now you said it's gonna be in Ralph's. It's gonna be in Ralph's Market, and that's gonna be the beginning. Okay. I started with the, the spice, and then I'm also going through LSU. Okay. And uh, through the incubator, so. Um, it, it's they they're talking about November. All right. To be in store, so it's going to be a good thing. It's uh, it's really a unique pickle, y'all. It's uh, I don't want to call it a bread and butter. It's more like a mom and pop kind of pickle. And and the key to this, this pickle is uh, shake. It's shaking. It's shaking shake taste. taste. So you the, get all the, the ingredients sediment in of there. The you shake it around, and you get all those flavors when mm. you get to taste it. Y'all had them. This is a really good pickle. Well, Alvin. I can't well, wait to see them on the market. I, I, me either. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Pipeline, truck line, sitting on the pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens That's how we live and it sure feels fine Turkey, squirrel, deer, gator and hogs Twelve gauge shotgun and some rabbit dogs Staying at the camp six days straight Coming home to mama sure feels great Like the did long ago So join the fun, live off the land Cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man Swimming at the lake on a hot summer day Working in the fields, bailing hay Cooking up some turtle sauce, speed calm Jitterbug dancing till your feet turn raw Like they did long ago So join the fun, live off the land Cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man Top line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline Waiting for the sun to shine Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens That's how we live and it sure feels fine Well, you got it turned in. Got it in. Got it in, buddy. How'd it come out? Good, good. Tastes right. like mom, so. You got it, bro. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. You come and turn it in now, yeah, huh? I'm coming turn it in now. How'd it come out? Oh, I don't know. I, mm, pork a little tough. It's gotcha. like, yeah, okay. pork a little, little tough on the pork. Well, best but, uh, of luck to yeah. you. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. All right, bro. Come and turn it in, huh? Come and turn it in. Yeah, how do you feel about it? I'd eat it. You would you? Would you? It come out all right. It did. Good. Well, uh, good luck, bro. Good Thank luck. You. Thank you. I think I get fat off of it too. You know? <laughs> it don't take us much. All right, y'all turning them in. How you feel? Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. What you thinking, bro? <laughs> like you said, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. <laughs> Would you think it come out all right? I think it come out good. You eat it. <laughs> yeah, <I think> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're gonna need it. With good luck to you. All right, thank all you. right, bro. What you thinking? That's it. Number one plate right That's there. The number one. That's it. Can we get a peek at it? Yeah. Can we look? What? Oh, you! <laughs> my God, that looks good, man. There she is. Good luck to y'all. Thank you. All right, Mr. Carl, what y'all think? Couldn't get no better. If Couldn't get no better. Can we set it down and look in it? Yes, Let's see. Yeah, one eye, Let's see. Then we're gonna go two eyed. What? Please, man, that looks good. Huh? That you looks good. I'll right. send you the recipe when it's over. <laughs> good luck to y'all. Thank you. So all right, bro. All right, man, let's see, bro. Man. Let's see. Other than you giving me a cracked piece of styrofoam plate, yeah, I was still able to manage. Wow, look at, look at that, man. Yard balls and gravy. That looks good, bro. That looks good. I gotta say, that's uh, that's probably a winner. All right, Mike. What you thinking? What you thinking? Can we set it down and get a look at it? Yeah, I went to McDonald's and got this in here. Uh, <laughs> if they like a Big Mac, I mean, you know, it, it's a winner. 
No, uh, you know. Let's look at it. Let's we'll set it down. See. Let's see what we got. This is bully school. Oh, bro, that looks creamy good. Yeah, it does. The color's a little off, but uh, I'm good with it. Yes, indeed. Good luck to you, Mike. Thank you. You got to turn it in. What you thinking? Oh, I think it's a winner. Yeah? Yeah. Can we look at it? Can we open yeah, it up and look yeah, at it? No, no. Let's see what we got. Whoa, man, that looks good. Oh, no, it's got the neck bone and got all that in it. Bro, them judges got their work cut out for them in there. This is going to be something. Good luck to y'all. All right, man. Thank you. Thank y'all. All right, bro. Turning it in. What you thinking? I tell you what, I think we did a good job. Uh, my sous chef here, Mr. Jim Moon. Yeah, yeah. Myself, we um, we did the best we could. Okay, let's set it you down know? and look in it. Uh, can we look in it? Oh, uh, okay, sure, let's certainly. See. Wow, man, that looks good. And see, considering I'm half Italian, we put a little bit of Italian cheese yeah. on there, you know. So give it that little finish and touch, you know. You Go got it, bro. Go it's with the that extra. Ribeye. It's the extra. Okay, okay. Good luck to y'all. Hey, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank y'all. You're, You're watching, watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> The Angler Magazine. Find your outdoors gear. Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood, seasoning, sauces, and propane needs. They have local Amy River catfish, $3.99 a pound all year long. Fresh shrimp, Dungeness crab, local frog legs, soft shell crabs, alligator, scallops, live and ball crabs, and cracklings. And don't forget, crawfish season is just around the corner. Always local, never imported, at Hole in Wall Seafood. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week. Cooking demos on Saturdays and customer service that will help you get the job done. Ascension Trolling Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota warranty service center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Trolling Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. Cajun Living and Cooking is starting right about now. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. I got the judges here. Nick fixing to start judging right now, but I want to get their names. Oh, Roland Ducey. Barney Arsenault. Lorraine Wimberly. Cheryl LeBlanc Babin. Holly Forbes. And Lacey Averett. Now, uh, Mr. Rowland, you've been to some of these before, and uh, y'all got to have y'all's work cut out for y'all. That's what I'm understanding, that uh, it's just all different kind of stuff, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, there's a garball gravy. Come on. There's a pork neck bone stew. There's several deer dishes. Uh, there's a chili, there's an elk chili, there's all kind of stuff, y'all. Oh, man. I'm going to wish y'all good luck and good tasting and good fun because it's all for the kids. The dreams come true. Yeah. One. Oh, it looks delicious. It does. That's a My creamy favorite. looking. Everybody loves spaghetti. You can't go wrong with spaghetti. And then they got sausage in it. They got mushrooms in it. Mm. They got a little bit of everything in there. Is it I good? want another bite, baby. Uh oh, you got to try again. There we go. When you go oh, second, when you there we go. You tried the spaghetti? I sure did. It was very good. It was good? It was very good. Is it a... Uh, Perfect amount of spice to it. A bunch of different flavors y'all got or... Mm-hmm. Um, it's been a nice variety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any uh, weird, outrageous stuff? Not yet. Not that I know Not of. Not yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, y'all keep up the good work. Thanks. Uh, 
All right, Mr. Rowland, tough job, huh? I'm telling you, uh, this is it's more challenging than last year, I think, if yeah. it's possible. There's twice as many entries, too. Yeah, there is, and um, it's good. we got some good cooks out here. I, we do. What you thinking, John? Pretty tough good. work? Tough yeah. work, huh? Yeah. <laughs> he probably left some hard work to come to this harder work. Yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> I got you out the sun, anyway. You're right, you're right. <laughs> well, y'all keep it up. We're working on it. Well, hard work or what? I'm loving it. Thanks Is for it? having me. Y'all having some good taste? We are. It's very good. Good, good. Uh, is this harder than cutting hair? Very much. <laughs> A lot of injuries. All right. Well, I thank all y'all for coming. Appreciate having us. All right. Y'all get back to work. Mr. Carl, how's it selling? Woo! The Man. police department was here a while ago detouring. <laughs> I people, see that pot's getting lower and people lower. People are fighting to get in here, cuz. I hear uh, you. You wait, I even sent you a bowl a while ago. All right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. indeed. Your son didn't tell you? <laughs> huh? No, I'll tell no. Him, I could tell you daddy to taste this. Huh? Uh, it must be sitting over there for me. <laughs> I, see your, I see your pot's getting lower, though. It's shrinking. Yeah. <laughs> Sold it all. Sold out. Uh, Look. 26, 27? 27. 27 of them. Awesome. Everybody, everything everybody cooked needed rice. I had a whole pot of rice with me. Go. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Well, uh, I like to see a happy pot. That's a happy, happy, happy pot. I even <laughs> I even gave away a couple bowls of the gratin. People one, want that. One woman come over here, she said, uh, I told her I don't have no meat. She said, I'll take the gratin. I said, well, you keep your ticket, I'll give you a bowl of gratin. You ought to pay double for gratin. That would have been nice, but I couldn't do that, man. <laughs> well, how's, the, uh, how's it going? People, that, you still got empty. Oh, you still got a little bit left in we there. Got, we got a little bit. Probably in the next 10 minutes will be gone, man. Oh, yeah. I, I see one happy pot. I seen a few pots uh, emptied. Uh, people's getting their tray and starting one in and working it around, and then they don't know what to pick. They got so much good food out here, they don't right. know what to pick. Oh, uh, I, I know a lot of people, they, they buy six cups at a time. Yeah, I seen that a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. You're still not getting them all with six because it's 12 cooks. I know. Yeah. Right. Well, y'all doing fine, bro. We're going to be uh, having awards here soon, but uh, maybe y'all get some of them trophies. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's all for the fun of St. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Thank you. All right, y'all. We we in the back back here, and we got uh, some of the people in the back, and uh, like they say, and uh, they don't know everybody's back here, so he still got a pretty full pot. We're gonna have to tell the people we got more food back here. Y'all uh, y'all selling a couple though. I done heard some words from both of them. They loving that food, man. Yeah. They are uh, tallying up the uh, total right now. Uh, the judges are tallying up, so we're going to sell some more food and give away some trophies and some prizes. Good, good, good. I want to see y'all on the podium.
Man, bro, that looks good. Oh, it is good, bro, I'm gonna tell you. That looks really, really it, good. Thick it, and creamy, rich looking. It came out good, though. That's a big old rabbit back mm, strap right there. Yes, yeah, you, indeed. You like that, you know. I it, hope, uh, it, that looks like it's gonna be in the top five, Leonard. It better be the top. I'm, I'm gonna win this thing. I'm telling you, this stuff is very good. <laughs> I'm in it to win it. <laughs> Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, Hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials. 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Marlin's Pizza has two great locations, one in Prairieville and one in Santa Mall. Dine in, carry out, or delivery. That's right, y'all. Seafood delivered free to your home or business. Shrimp, oysters, catfish, and frog legs. They also have po'boys, spaghetti, fried pickles, homemade onion rings, salads, and 100% pure beef burgers. Marlin's Pizza dough is made fresh every day. And this is the only place you can find the Lamex Pizza. And oh yeah, y'all. Don't forget about that seafood muffalata. Just when you thought you had the best, there's better. The new Hustler Raptor, heavy duty welded steel deck, professional grade cut quality, premium Kawasaki power, all from just $27.99. The new Raptor series from Hustler, tools, not toys. Come get your Raptor Super Duty today at Gotro's Lawn and Garden in Gonzales. Cajun Living and Cooking is about to start right now. The garbage, chicken, Sauce, the cones, chili. You got a lot. Did, are you leaving or are you staying? No, I'm, I'm eating on the tailgate over there. We're popping the top. Well, Rodney, looks like we had a real good turnout today for the benefit, for the dreams come true. Man, I was so glad myself to see all the cooks come out and all, you know, all the big turnout. And boy, I tell you, you couldn't have asked for a better day today, huh? No, no. no we planned this too. We had put in an order for some good weather. Well, I tell you what, the good Lord looked down on your fart. And, man, I tell you what, I'm really looking forward to next year and hope we got this big of a crowd or better next year. Maybe maybe by seeing all of this, a lot of these cooks will come out next year and have a even better turnout for the Dreams Come True Foundation. Yes, yes. It's, it, you can't ask for better than this. A lot of donations and a lot of good fun to help a lot of kids. Definitely, definitely. We want to send a big thank you out to everybody that's helped out out here today. You know, and I'll be getting back on the DJ booth there just a few minutes to let everybody know we appreciate them, uh, all of their support. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. All right, y'all. Special thanks. I want to give a hand to all the cooks. Thank y'all. I want to thank our volunteers from Ascension Parish Child Nutrition Association. I want to say thanks to the DJ for coming out, JD. I want to say thanks to all the judges for coming out. I want to say thanks to A1 Storage and Renault for sending the tables and the chairs. Fred's Bar and Travel Center for donating the water. LeBlanc's Food Store for donating the drinks. Coca-Cola Bottling Company for sending the banners out. I want to thank the Lemonade Stand for coming out. Thank y'all. I want to thank Hole in the Wall for sending the ice over. I want to thank Carol. Ronnie and Donna for the hardware store spot. I want to thank my mama Dupree for knitting that quilt. All right, y'all. We fixed to get it on right here. It's only by the numbers, so pull your tickets out. Fifth place. Trophy, $50. Ticket number, 161. Last three numbers, one, six, one. Here we go, right here, man. Hey.
anybody who wins a trophy, I want you to stick around. We're going to get some pictures. That's the red spaghetti. Good job. Fourth place. Number 165. Yeah! There we go. Hey, hey. What y'all had? Pork and sausage jambalaya. Pork and sausage jambalaya right here. Yeah! Way to go! Third place. That's a trophy of $50. One, five, one. Hey. Look ahead, look ahead. Yeah. That's the pork gravy right there, pork stew. That's the Ruholic. All right, y'all, second place, trophy, and $100. Ticket number 166. Look at that. Drawing for the quilt. We're gonna need a little kid, a little skate around. Looks like it's written in French. Val and T. Lee Thickle. They probably already got their food home, sitting in front of the sofa, getting ready for the game. That's for the quilt. All right, y'all. The moment we all waited for, right here. First place. And it's pretty big uh, difference in the points here for first place. Ticket number one, six, three. That's the El Chili. That's the El Chili right there, y'all. Congratulations. Congratulations, y'all. Good job, fellas. Good job. Would y'all like to say something out there? Thank somebody? And uh, we just like to thank. Cajun Living and Cooking for sponsoring this, and it's a great, great event. Thank you, Trophy, back for all the trophies. It's awesome. I'd like to thank everybody. Okay, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Good job. There will be a third annual there will be a third annual Black Iron Pot cook-off. We got another? All right, y'all. What a contest. What a day. I mean, we couldn't have had better weather. This was really, really nice. A lot of good food, a lot of good cooks, good music. And it's all for a good cause, y'all. It's for the Dreams Come True Foundation. How much money did we raise? $1,532. Wow. $1,532. That's a lot of money. <laughs> hey, y'all. That's good stuff. That's all for the kids. That's going to make a dream come true. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. <laughs>